My name is Meredith Schwindemann. I'm a biology teacher at Emerald High School and this year we've been exploring using the iPad cards every day in our biology class. The way that the iPad has changed my learning experience is, well, for example, I have atrocious handwriting and this thing, it has made it so much easier to communicate with my teachers and things because they can actually read my handwriting and it's easier to turn in stuff because See on Google Drive, you can just click on an old document, you type in, and it's already there, it's already turned in. Yeah. Pages, it's basically like a note-taking app. You can create a document, and you type, and then you take a picture when you're done, a screenshot, and then you upload it to Edmodo via your backpack, and then your teacher sees it, just like that through the assignment box. Another way that I've seen a benefit with the one-to-one -one initiative is um, improving student engagement through a program called Nearpod. Students are able to interact with their notes while giving direct instruction. Um, they can interact in ways that allow them to have a voice. They can interact in ways that give formative assessments or just test their knowledge along the way. Um, they can draw. They can write. Um, there are free response options during that uh, using that application, and there are. Um, multiple choice options to just kind of assess students along the way and see where we might need more clarification. So here we have Nearpod. Nearpod is basically the teacher plays the PowerPoint on the screen and it shows up on your iPad. See, I'm really short. I don't have to see overheads. I don't have to stand up to see it. It shows up right here on my iPad so I can just look at it and take notes like that way. Uh, so while we used Nearpod in class, we talked about the parts of DNA, the parts of the structure, and then students could have an opportunity to create their own drawing uh, to help them remember and represent what those different parts are. Another feature that Nearpod provides teachers and students is the opportunity for quick formative assessments. So partway through a presentation or at the end of the presentation, you can pose three or four questions that students can answer. and this graph gives the teacher a quick idea of, of how well students are doing. The green indicates that they've answered those questions correctly. One of the great learning experiences I've had with the iPad is a project that we did on cancer where we, we gathered all the information about types of cures for different types of cancer and different things like the death percentages and we posted it on Edmodo where the whole class could see it and then we could all look at each other's different information. Here's where we posted different things about the cancer project where the students, even Ms. Schwindemann could post things about the cancer project and we were allowed to comment on it. And right here is where I commented about my English teacher who had can thyroid cancer and it affected her greatly. Here we use Google Chrome. It's a Google based uh, program and we have different uh, documents here. And like we took notes on mitosis, and you can just plug them in here. You can um, put pictures, you can put descriptions, and that's just like our AV. And if you go, you can make different folders. Um, like here is one on cellular respira uh, respiration. Um, as if we've been going one to one and, and talking with students about the benefits for them, a lot of students have gotten excited about the competitive review games that we can play, and um, they they state that they love getting involved and competing with other students. They're trying to get the right answer the fastest, um, so it's really improving student engagement in the sense that they're trying to get the right answer quick. The other thing that students have also commented on is other programs like Study Blue are allowing them ways to study their information digitally outside of school. So, so far with our iPad cart, we've been working on building a digital community within our classroom. And in the future, I really want to start helping students make connections in other communities in South Carolina and other communities across the United States and other communities around the world. Um, ideally, that's, that's where I'd like to go. people that have made this possible and to uh, GWD50 for taking the opportunity, taking the leap, taking the risk to incorporate technology into the classroom. Uh, it's been a great learning experience for me. It's helped improve student engagement um, and we just, we just need to see it continue. We need to see more opportunities for students, more opportunities for more teachers to get involved in the technology initiative um, and we're excited about where it's going to take us.